Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Back to the Future. I've never seen this movie, you've never seen this movie. Obviously, we know things about this movie just because of pop culture and existing, um, but we've never actually watched any of the three movies from start to finish. So, I mean, some things that I know, I know there's Marty and Doc, mm -hmm. there's obviously the DeLorean and time travel. Yeah. As far as specifics go of anything, I don't know. Do that's you know about anything? it. No, that's, I don't even know if Doc is from the time that Marty is from, or if he's traveling to be in the time where he is. Right, like is Doc from the future or is Doc from the present or from the past? Like, Yeah, I don't know where Marty falls and where Doc's timeline is. And I don't know where that falls in our current timeline for like 2020. This was made in 1985. Is the future maybe now? Or right, are maybe, we past the future? Yeah, or maybe we may be around that time. That's true. Um, I didn't even think, like, uh, are we going to see anything that actually came true or something that didn't come true? Yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously we've never seen the movie, so we're super excited to watch it. I know Back to the Future was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who did Forrest Gump, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. So I'm really excited to see more of his work. And um, we know that this stars... Michael J. Fox as Marty and Christopher Lloyd as Doc. Mm -hmm. We're really excited to check this whole universe out. This movie won Patreon poll, so I want to thank all the patrons for selecting this. If you want to check out the full length reaction to this movie, as well as everything that we've reacted to, the link is in the description. Thank everyone for all of the support on the channel. With that, let's get into the movie. Someone definitely wants to wake up when the alarms go off. <laughs> Brown Mansion destroyed. Brown Mansion, Brown Estate sold to developers. Car at a better price with better service. <laughs> the missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago to a simple clerical error. The FBI was destroying everything in the matter. So far, this is not a good Goldberg machine or whatever it's called. Oh no. Hello, anybody home? Einstein, come here, boy. Some sick Nikes. <laughs> uh -oh. So Doc took the plutonium. It's about to blow out some speakers. <laughs> I'm like nervous for my ears right, <laughs> right now. I know. That's one giant speaker. Nice. <laughs> Just going from car to car. <laughs> so Jennifer. Marty, don't go this way. Strickland's looking for you. The doc said all his clock's 25 minutes slow. Doc? Oh. The so-called Dr. Brown is dangerous. He's a real nutcase. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Jeez. Thanks. So Brown, Emmett Brown, Doc lost the mansion and the like the estate uh, and stuff. I didn't even catch that. Rudy, uh, with the <laughs> I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Next place. Too loud. Marty, one rejection isn't the end of the world. Nah, I just don't think I'm cut out for music. No, hey. I know. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> Check out that four by four. That is hot. Wouldn't it be great? Take that truck, fly out underneath the stars. Stop it. <laughs> what? Save the clock tower. Save the clock tower. 30 years ago, lightning struck that clock tower, and the clock hasn't run since. It's my dad. Right. Uh oh. I gotta go. Ooh. I'm surprised he's not getting death stares by the dad. <laughs> Orgy American style? <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> What's an American style orgy? <laughs> Perfect. Can I assume that you're uh, 
insurance is going to pay for the damage? I spilled beer all over when that car smashed into me. Who's going to pay my cleaning bill? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll uh, finish those reports on up tonight and I'll run them on over first thing tomorrow, all right? McFly, your shoes on tight. Oh. oh my god. What a classic bully. <laughs> Biff just happens to be my supervisor, and I'm just not very good at confrontations. I needed that car in the morning. Your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, time to change that oil. <laughs> His laugh. Jennifer Parker called you twice. I don't like her, Marty. I think it's terrible. Girls chasing boys. Then how am I supposed to ever meet anybody? Like the way I met your father. Grandpa hit him with the car. I still don't understand what Dad was doing in the middle of the street. Your father kissed me for the very first time on that dance floor. <laughs> she has to be an alcoholic. <laughs> Marty, you didn't fall asleep, did you? Uh, Doc. I forgot my video camera. Can you stop by my place and pick it up on your way to the mall? On my way. Einstein. Hey, huh. <laughs> there it is. A DeLorean. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. And this is temporal experiment number one. Oh, no. Testing with Einstein first. Watch your head. God. <laughs> hey. My calculations are correct. You're gonna see some serious shit. That's it out of time? Yeah, that's the license plate that was on the oh. car. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. <laughs> Calm down, Marty, I didn't disintegrate anything. Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. One minute into the future to be exact. Look out. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's all right. He's fine. <laughs> and he's completely unaware that anything happened. You turn the time circuits on. <laughs> You input your destination time on this keypad. Of course, November 5th, 1955. That was the day I invented time travel. And I slipped, hit my head on the edge of the sink, and when I came to, <laughs> I had a revelation. Does it run like on, on regular unleaded gasoline? Plutonium. <laughs> uh, plutonium. I need a nuclear reaction to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. That's a lot of watts. Did you rip that off? Of course. <laughs> from a group of Libyan nationalists. Let's get you a radiation suit. Jeez. We must prepare to remove. <laughs> <laughs> Safe now. Everything's lead lined. I almost forgot my luggage. That's where you're going. That's right. 25 years into the future. 25 years and it's 1985. It's 2010. I'm not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to embark on an historic journey. I almost forgot to bring extra plutonium. I was going to say. I didn't expect to get back. Uh oh. Oh my god. I don't know how, but they found me. The Libyans! The Libyans. Holy <laughs> shit! He's got a revolver. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting the dog to get blasted. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's way too far in the past. Better hit 88. Let's see if you bastards can do 90. <laughs> <laughs> so this is 30 years in the past then. Yeah, the day that he invented time travel. Right. Looks like an airplane. <laughs> well, when? <laughs> oh, he's gonna come out with the... <laughs> Space suit. <laughs> Son of 
<laughs> Get a grip on yourself. It's all a dream. That's his old road. Oh no. Is that a plutonium? Mm-hmm. clock tower yeah how different just 30 years ago they also said that 30 years ago the clock tower got struck by lightning and got destroyed so that would probably be tonight i assume wonder if it has something to do with him being there yeah <laughs> what's with the life preserver <laughs> Oh, hey, oh. guys, how are you doing? This is dad. Homework finished, McFly. Uh, hello. <laughs> exact Anybody same. Hey, think, McFly. What are you looking at, butthead? Hey, Biff, get all of this guy's life preserved. Oh, mm -hmm. McFly, your shoe's untied. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't be so gullible, McFly. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you let people walk over you now, they'll be walking over you for the rest of your life. Oh, that's the mayor. Mm. And one day I'm gonna be somebody. That's right, he's gonna be mayor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, George. Hey, you <laughs> <the bike. laughs> it's your, oh, he's a creep. A little peeping Tom. <laughs> you think that's his mom? Yeah, it's he's gotta be. Tom. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, he hit his head pretty hard too. Oh no, but he just he changed sa the future. Yeah, he just saved his dad from getting hit by the car. Who are you? And now he got hit by the car. Come on out here, help me take him in the house. Oh no. <laughs> Mom, is that you? I had a horrible nightmare. Safe and sound now, back in 1955. 1955. You're my mom. You're my mom. But you're uh, you're so thin. <laughs> I've never seen purple underwear before, Calvin. Well, that is your name, isn't it? Calvin Klein. Oh, God. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Calvin. Marty. This is the most uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> Why you wear that life preserver? <laughs> what were you doing in the middle of the street? A kid your age? Don't pay any attention to him. He's in one of his moods. So you're my Uncle Joey. <laughs> He's already kind of in jail. <laughs> Joey just loves being in his playpen. <laughs> just leave him in there all the time. <laughs> well, Marty, I... Now we can watch Jackie Gleason while we eat. Do you have a television? We have two of them. Oh, honey, he's teasing you. Nobody has two televisions. <laughs> Marty, you look so familiar to me. Do I know your mother? Mm, yes. <laughs> Do you know where Riverside Drive is? It's uh, in the other end of town, a block past Maple. Maple, that's, uh, that's John F. Kennedy Drive. Who the hell is John F. Kennedy? <laughs> um, mother? I think maybe you should spend the night. I think you're our responsibility. He can sleep in my room. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, see y'all later. He's an idiot. <laughs> Parents are probably idiots too. <laughs> if I have a kid who acts that way, I'll disown you. <laughs> it's gotta be a big ass mansion, right? That's pretty big. Yeah. Doc? Don't say a word. Uh oh. I don't know anything about you. Listen, Doc. How's Einstein that old? I'm gonna read your thoughts. Uh, you want me to make a donation? To the Coast Guard Youth Auxiliary. Coast Guard. <laughs> now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. Do you know what this means? This damn thing doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, I'll prove it to you. Look at my driver's license. I'm telling the truth, Doc. You gotta believe me. Who's President of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. The actor? <laughs> <laughs> the Bruce. 
bruise, the bruise in your head. I know how that happened. You told me the whole story. And that's when he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor. Oh, I hope it's still there. I know, right? So I hit it. Here. Oh, thank God. I wonder if the doc of the future is just always dead and it's replaced by this doc. Oh, just this doc? <laughs> I finally invent something that works. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotta get you home. Look at me. It's so oh, cool. Thank God I still got my hair. <laughs> no wonder your president has to be an actor. He's gotta look good on television. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he running? Plutonium is available in every corner drugstore, but in 1955, <laughs> it's a little hard to come by. The only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. The clock tower. You never know when or where it's ever going to strike. Yes, you do. If we could somehow harness this lightning into the flux capacitor, it just might work. We're sending you back to the future. Hey. <laughs> You must not see anybody or talk to anybody. Anything you do could have serious repercussions on future events. Too late. Have you interacted with anybody else today besides me? Yeah, well, I might have sort of bumped into my parents. Just as I thought. This proves my theory. Look at your brother. Oh, no. Erased from existence. Very funny. <laughs> you guys are being really sure. Maybe we were adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, didn't that guy ever have hair? <laughs> what did your mother ever see in that kid? I don't know. I guess she felt sorry for him because her dad hit him with the car. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. Enchantment under the sea. Right? I'd like you to meet my good friend George McFly. Oh. <laughs> no. Isn't he a dreamboat? Oh my god. <laughs> me. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? Precisely. <laughs> So you've got to get your father and mother to interact. There's a rhythmic ceremonial ritual coming up. A <laughs> rhythmic ceremonial ritual. What are you writing? Science fiction stories. Of get out of town. <laughs> I didn't know you did anything creative. I never, I never let anybody read my stories. What if they didn't like them? What if they told me I was no good? Oh, uh, that's exactly what he said about his band. About Lorraine. I mean, he likes you. She wants you to ask her to the enchantment under the sea dance. Really? What if she said no? I don't know if I could take that kind of a That's not gonna end well. No. Get your meat hooks off of me. Get your meat hooks. <laughs> Piff's pretty big. Since you're new here, uh, I'm gonna cut you a break. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> if you do not ask Lorraine to that dance, I'm gonna regret it for the rest of my life. But I can't go to the Dance. I'm just not ready. Or anybody else on this planet is gonna make me change my mind. Anybody else on this planet? She just has to be an alien. <laughs> uh oh. Fiction theater. Just a couple of ankles left. <laughs> Ed Van Halen. <laughs> my name is Darth Vader. hairdresser in his spell. <laughs> I need your help. I have to ask Lorraine out, but I don't know how to do it. Last night, Darth Vader came down from Planet Vulcan and- Is he gonna write Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shirt. Yeah, I know. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Give me a milk. A <laughs> milk? Nice. I'm George. Density. Density. <laughs> I thought I told you never to come in here. Whoa. What's that? <laughs> oh my god, he's a dream. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll get it back to you, alright? Alright, the invention of the skateboard. What's that thing he's on? It's a board with wheels. <laughs> it's an absolute dream. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Thanks a lot, kid. Yeah, where does he live? I'm gonna find out. Oh my god. <laughs> they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for money! 
Oh no, is he gonna see he got killed? Oh hi, Mike. I didn't hear you come in. You know, there's something I haven't told you about the night we made that Please, Marty, don't tell me. No man should know too much about his own destiny. According to the flyer, at a precisely 10.04 p.m. this Saturday night, lightning will strike the clock tower and send you back to 1985. Perfect. <laughs> Uh-oh. How did you know I was here? I followed you. But I was kind of wondering if you'd ask me to the enchantment under the sea dance on Saturday. What about, what about George? George McFly? I think a man should be strong and protect the woman he loves. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to go with you. She just doesn't know it yet. Look, you're not going to be picking a fight, Dad. Dad, Dad, <laughs> Daddy-o. Nine o'clock, you're strolling through the parking lot. You walk up. You open the door and you say, Hey, you, get your damn hands off her. Do you really think I ought to swear? <laughs> I just, I wish I wasn't so scared. This is not going to go as planned. <laughs> say, you know, Marty, I'm going to be very sad to see you go. You've given me something to shoot for. Then I'm going to have a chance to travel through time. It's going to be really hard waiting 30 years before I can talk to you about everything that's happened in the past few days. I'm really going to miss you. Aww. He's got to save him when he gets back. Yeah. Whatever you've got to tell me, I'll find out through the natural course of time. Oh. Shot by terrorists. Take whatever precautions to prevent this terrible disaster. Oh. Okay. I guess that helps. Just a second. Let me see if I can find it here. Do you mind if we park for a while? It's a great idea. Not like I've never parked before. <laughs> <laughs> Lorraine, Lorraine, what are you doing? Everybody who's anybody drinks. <laughs> Party, you're beginning to sound just like my mother. <laughs> Is he late? Have you ever been in a situation where you knew you had to act a certain way, but you didn't know if you could go through with it? You know what I do in those situations? I don't worry. No. <laughs> this is all wrong. It's like I'm kissing my brother. I guess that doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh no, Biff. Sitting right here with me. It's time to fight him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, I don't want to mess with no reefer addicts, okay? Reefer addicts. Come on, George. You gotta save her. Oh, he doesn't know what he's getting no, into. he doesn't know it's Biff. Oh, I think you got the wrong car, McFly. You leave her alone. Let's go, George. Uh, Come on, George. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You're gonna break his arm. What a poop. Damn. Clock up, George. Hey, one punch knockout. Are you okay? Who is that guy? That's George McFly. <laughs> Excuse me. Look at Marvin's hand. He can't play with his hand like that, and we can't play without him. Yeah, well, look, Marvin. Hey, man, the dance is over. Unless uh, you know somebody else that can play the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, it works. My darling. Come on, kiss. kiss. Scram, McFly. Oh Earth my god. Uh-oh. Is he disappearing? I think so. Come on, George. Oh no. Excuse oh, me. Oh thank god. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna name my kid after you. Let's do another one. Let's do something that really cool. All right. Uh, it's gonna play like his original. This is an oldie. <laughs> an oldie. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
You guys aren't ready for that yet, but your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but George asked if he could take me home. I have feelings like you too. I have a feeling too. Marty, will we ever see you again? I guarantee it. If you guys ever have kids and one of them sets fire to the living room rug, go easy on them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're late. You have all cops up the time. Come on! It worked! What? He laid out Biff in one punch! He's never served a Biff in his life! Ever! Now why? What's the matter? Alright! <laughs> oh no. How's that gonna change the future? Let's send you back at exactly the same time! It'll be like you never left! No, he needs to go back yeah, like... Yeah, he needs to go back a few minutes earlier. 20 minutes earlier. When this alarm goes off, you hit the gun! Right! Uh-oh. It's about the future, isn't it? The consequences could be disastrous! But that's a risk you're gonna have to take! I refuse oh, to thank accept God. the responsibility! Oh. Uh-oh. Race car! You get the cable! I'll throw the room down to right. you! Right! I got it! Oh my God. They only have a few minutes. so afraid of him being up there I when know. it gets struck. You got less than four minutes! Please. Come on. Damn it, Doc. Why did you have to tear up that letter? Let's go back a few minutes. I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. I can just go back early and warn him. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, no. They've had so many problems. Oh my god. <laughs> god. There you go, talk. Plug that bad boy in. Oh uh, no! This time, come on. Plug <laughs> it in! Why is it suddenly shorter? Is it. Oh! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Is he gonna be able to run down there in time? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Plug it in, Doc. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god. He did it. <laughs> 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 Drunk driver. <laughs> Everything looks great. <laughs> One twenty-four. I still got time. Oh no! How far away is he from that parking lot? <gasps> Those are the terrace. He was still too late. Did he read he, the letter? He read it. He had to have read it. <laughs> You're alive. It's all taped up. Mm-hmm. And all that talk about screwing up future events. I figure. What the hell? But <laughs> so now there's two versions of him. One that now went back to the future. I don't know. Time travel gets confusing. <laughs> now watch that re-entry. It, it's a little bumpy. You bet. Wait, but how did they get the DeLorean back? No, that's the that's his DeLorean that he came in. He came in with the DeLorean, but he left it there in the middle of the street. So they probably just went back and got oh, it. Oh, oh, right. Are his parents any different? Maybe his dad's like a strong, a like strong boss <laughs> of some company. What a nightmare. Hey, what the hell is this? What are you wearing, Dave? Marty. I always wear a suit to the office. Why, were you cheating? <laughs> no. Hello. Marty. Oh. 
<laughs> Mom, you, you look so thin. Oh, thank you, Marty. <laughs> George. Aren't you going up to the lake tonight? But how can I go to the lake? Car's wrecked. What are you saying? Oh, a BMW. Right now. <laughs> oh, Isn't that Biff? <laughs> I want to make sure we get two coats of wax this time, not just one. <laughs> yeah, Biff, what a character. <laughs> You're all waxed up, ready for tonight. Keys. Oh, he's got a 4x4. Four four. Dang, he really improved his future. <laughs> Marty, you're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. <laughs> I haven't. Marty! You've got to come back with me. I need fuel. Home energy reactor. <laughs> Go ahead. It's like a compost. <laughs> What happens to us in the future? You and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> that was great. All right. That was Back to the Future. That was super fun. That was really fun. Just from the very beginning to end, that was just... Like, my face hurts from smiling the whole time. I didn't know, I mean, I didn't think it was gonna be like a serious movie, but I didn't realize it would be like just as funny as mm -hmm. it was with as many jokes. Um, but no, I just had a blast. The it was so time. clever. Yeah. Like, just the attention to detail for everything in the past. Right. It was just, it was so good. Yeah, just like how the characteristics of his parents mm -hmm. in present time and exactly how they were and stuff and just all of the relationships and just how much he was actually able to change to improve things. Typically like a time travel movie or something, something in the future always gets messed up. Mm -hmm. But he was able to warn Doc about the, the Libyans mm -hmm. and he like made his dad a badass. He made Biff like a total, like like a wuss and kind of like a, a working for his dad and stuff mm -hmm. and his mom had all of her energy back and everything mm -hmm. and stuff and even his siblings were yeah, like they were successful, successful and yeah he, he had the four by four and the bmw and stuff and but he still had his relationship with his girl yeah i was just about to say like he still had the same girlfriend it's not like he was with someone else or anything mm -hmm. like that so it seems like he almost improved everything and didn't mess anything up except for the fact that the movie immediately sets up a sequel yeah like that's pretty crazy i don't know like when this movie was made if it was very common to like green light a bunch of movies yeah but they like very explicitly set up a sequel mm -hmm. and what the sequel is about mm -hmm. and and the characters in it and stuff mm -hmm. which that's really cool i mean i'm super excited to watch back to the future too yeah and and, the, and this one you go into the future 30 years or whatever yeah that's where he said he was going initially so yeah so i guess he goes into the future and finds something wrong with his kids and now this is going to be in our lifetime. Um, 85. 95. Uh, 2015. 2015. <laughs> okay. So that's only a few years ago. Yeah. So we will be able to see in the next movie if they predicted anything. Well, or... clearly they have a flying car, which is not. That's true. So yeah, we, <laughs> but no, that was just, that was a ton of fun. There was, mm -hmm. it was uncomfortable. The, the mother, mom the situation. Mom yeah. Like, I thought. I'm glad it was just like a little peck on the kiss. Like I, I thought it was gonna go. I was a little scared. A little more than that. <laughs> I was like, how much is he gonna have to do with his mom? Yeah. Um, that was clutch for George to come in and like build that courage and save. And I thought it was they were setting it up for George to like write Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> that did not come. He did write in a book. He is an author about space. About right? space, but not not exactly Star Wars. <laughs> do you have a favorite part of the movie? No, I like I like I said, I think it's just the attention to detail with the characters yeah. and the timeline. I think it just set everything up really well and Yeah, it wrapped it was, everything up very well. Yeah, and it was just so clever. Yeah. But yeah, it was so fun and lighthearted and I still like got nervous about because obviously going into it we know that there's multiple movies. We know that there's sequels, right? So So I was a little bit concerned that you know, Doc was gonna be dead and that he was gonna have to go back again and try to save him and stuff. So it really right. was like, I was very unsure. Yeah, even though we, we know that things are gonna turn out in a certain way because they're sequels, we still don't know how it's gonna play out. Right, because I mean, technically he could have still died and still been in the sequels. Right, yeah, or the sequel would have been about 
trying to save him or right. something like that. Yeah. So we still had that level of suspense, not really knowing how anything was going to turn up, mm -hmm. um, which which is great considering this is such a popular movie. But in terms of the plot, yeah, in terms really... of the plot, we didn't know anything. So yeah. so much of it was was just an awesome experience yeah. to have for the first time. Um, and I loved it. I mean, I had so much fun. And I'm sure the sequels are going to be just as fun. Yeah. I guess my favorite part would probably be like the rock and roll scene. That was really good. Just the fact that he takes it so far and then the, and he stops everyone's playing and everyone's just like, what was that? <laughs> and the, how the principal or whoever it was was so judgy even back in the <laughs> right. like back, back in the past. Back in the past. Yeah. Yeah. So I know from top to bottom, that was that was great. It was a really good movie. Yeah. I want to thank everyone for all the continued support and for commenting and leaving suggestions. We're having such a blast with this. It's so much fun. Uh, if you want to interact with us on any different kind of platforms, all of the links to, their, to our socials are in the description. Uh, you can check out the Patreon for the full length reaction to this movie and everything else we've reacted to, as well as participate in polls that will help determine what we watch in the future. Thank you for watching this movie with us. We can't wait to watch the next one. Uh, but until then, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.